In this video, I want to show you how to participate as a student in an online group activity in Canvas. So this is a particular activity setup called a jigsaw activity because you'll interact with one group first, following the instructions your teacher has provided. Then you'll leave that group and you'll join a second group and follow the instructions for that activity. And then you'll return to join back together with your initial group. So let me show you how to do that in Canvas as a student. So your groups in Canvas are going to be on this people page. These are your self-enrolled groups. So if you click on the groups tab at the top, you'll see the groups that exist in this course for self-enrolling, which means that I can decide as a student which of these groups that I want to join. You'll see who's already in these groups by expanding the little uh, arrow there. And I can decide which one I want to join as a student. I just click the join link, then my name is added to join that group. There's really two ways to getting into that group now. I can go through the people tool, the groups tab, and use this visit link, which I now have. That's an option. Or once I have visited the group for the first time, I now have a groups tool that's actually outside of all of my courses. It's available on the global navigation menu and it'll show me all the groups to which I have access. So I can also get to my group by going through the groups tool. Inside of the groups tool now, here I am with my group and we've been given whatever instructions to complete together as part of this group activity. Oftentimes it's a discussion board topic, um, interacting and creating something together or researching something together, you do have options to create discussion board topics. And so you can see that students already got started with creating this and you can reply and create um, asynchronous. So you're posting, you know, when you can uh, discussions to this topic and or creating more topics if necessary to meet the requirements of the activity. But then comes the time when this activity wraps up and you are asked to leave this initial group and to join a second group. In order to do that, you're going to have to go back to the people tool of the course. And it's not the people tool inside of the group, which is a little confusing. So you're going to want to go back to courses, go back to your course. So find the name of your course, go back to the people tool where we originally Emily, um, enrolled in the groups and the groups tab. Here's when we originally joined the group and now we're going to say leave to leave that group. We are now no longer in group three and let's say we join instead group one at this time and now we're going to go, we'll use this visit link to go inside a group one. We'll check out their discussion board and find out what it is that they had posted about their topic, what they had researched, interacted about, whatever it was. So here's where I now follow the instructions that my teacher has given me on what to do in these groups, with this group that I'm visiting. Okay, I complete those requirements and now I need to go back to my original group to rejoin my group three. How do I do that? I go back out to courses, get into the course and go to people, groups, and I can now leave group one and get back into group three by hitting join. And then I'm back into my original group with the discussion that we had been working on together there. Okay, so that's a quick video on how to join a group, leave that group to join a second group, and then leave that second group to rejoin the initial group. All right, hope that helps.